a man who claimed he had a two-day love affair with a married Barack Obama back in 1999 is heated over the mainstream media sickening double standard concerning Stormy Daniels, a porn star who claims she had sex with a married Donald Trump back in 2006. Larry Sinclair claims he had a drug-induced sex romp with then-Senator Obama in Chicago after the duo were introduced by a limousine driver. Sinclair claims he performed oral sex on Mr. Obama on two occasions. Stormy Daniels is being pimped and pimping the media now and it's lining her pockets, accused Sinclair in an interview with the Washington Examiner. I believe she had sex with him. Do I believe she's trying to twist and add to it to benefit her interests? You're damn right I do. Unlike Daniels, real name Stephanie Clifford, who's seen a wealth of media opportunities to tell her side of the story, Sinclair's allegations were quickly dismissed by the media. As noted by the examiner, Mr. Sinclair has a record of crimes involving deceit and apparently did not provide corroborating evidence of the alleged affair. I do believe that there are enough contradictions by Ms. Daniels to justify questioning her motive and truthfulness, Sinclair continued, naming as evidence her statements or non-statements in subsequent interviews implying that her signature was not her signature and her back and forth on whether Trump paid her. I find this whole double standard sickening, and no I am not a bigger supporter of Trump, but I am a supporter of fair and unbiased media coverage, he added. I find the whole NDA and accepting money and then later coming back and using a completely legal incident for political and personal gain questionable. Michael Avenatti, an attorney representing Daniels, apparently believes such claims of media favorability to his client are unfounded. Is this a joke? Am I being punked? Avenity responded to the outlet via email. Sinclair, who reportedly has political aspirations, is convinced the media are giving instant credibility without skepticism to women accusing Trump of sexual misconduct. The examiner cited a lack of photo of Obama and Sinclair together as a distinction between Daniel's allegations and his. Also, the site notes, Obama is reportedly straight. Daniels told her story to some journalists, including from Slate and In Touch magazine, before signing the October 2016 NDA, though neither published her account. She and McDougall do have a degree of corroboration from friends who attest to contemporaneous conversations or, in the case of McDougall, provided the media with a letter she allegedly wrote documenting the claims, continues the examiner. As reported by the Daily Wire on Wednesday, Daniels passed a polygraph in 2011 regarding her claims of unprotected vaginal intercourse with Trump in 2006. The examiner said there was a 99% probability the porn star was telling the truth, according to the test. Sinclair apparently failed a polygraph in 2008, though he argues the tests are not reliable. To journalists I would say take your time, compare statements, and call out contradictions in statements and previous interviews, Sinclair said. When it comes to polygraphs be very sure you vet the examiners conducting them and always ask for the computer scoring results as well as the examiner's findings. In 2009, Sinclair released a book about the alleged affair called Barack Obama and Larry Sinclair, Cocaine, Sex, Lies and Murder. He says he lost money on it. 